it's day five trying to get a jigsaw fire and stars finished hopefully it's gonna be a short one tonight as well I haven't finished this yet but it's not past midnight yet and I don't have much to go so I'm pretty confident I can get this done while I'm waiting for the video to upload uh, before I caption it. Um, yeah so that leaves me one day to read the 500 plus page of Poppy War and review it. And I am not looking forward to that. Um, so this is technically a wordathon vlog. So I have two things to say about this. And then I know I didn't shoot any footage of the viewing today. So I'm going to talk a little bit about that. Uh, and I'm just talking about the book to kind of keep in theme with the vlogs. I still don't think. It's very good. I realise actually this is the second book that uh, I would call middle grade. That includes the suicide and I really hated that one as well because that kind of ended on a uh, kind of we should fix disabled people's notes. So I feel like maybe that's kind of colouring my uh, impression of the book but I don't think I would have liked it uh, either way. Two, I did actually find a bit in this book that I like. Um, it was a excuse me, sorry, I don't know if this is yeah. It was the reunion scene uh, chapter. I thought that was really nicely written. It actually got me a bit emotional. I didn't cry or anything but yeah I found that effective. I was really rooting for her. It got a wee bit like the writing style of it got a wee bit confusing towards the end but no I thought aside from the wee bit of confusion I got back on like where she was and what was happening before it finished and I thought that was really nice. I thought that you know her uh, desperation her want was really good. I don't think it was worth the rest of the book but I don't know that I said what I want a unit for uh, so I'm just going to say it now because it's not like there's a big secret or anything. I want a book story and uh, yeah so the place I looked at today was a little damp like you couldn't use the storerooms but it's pretty good actually, it's a pretty good deal, it's a sublet so it will only last until January at the latest so it's a great place to kind of start uh, just a foot on the ladder just to give it a test run if nothing else and you know I could keep going with it or I could like put a pause on things and then go travel the world and start back up if I wanted or if I didn't like it I could just stop at the end and the subletter is someone that I know so yeah I could put in like Ikea bookcases we could like refit the laminate floor get some um, light shades on like the fluorescence kind of office school-esque uh, lights you could make it really nice um, you wouldn't really have a storeroom because the rooms in the back are damp but like it's in the town where we live so you could just drive down the stock but it's you know it's it is what it is there's no heat either which isn't great so you'd probably want to stop before things got too cold anyway and there's another place I'm looking at uh, which is hopefully Friday the person hasn't gone back to us but hopefully Friday and that's really all I have to report on that as well so this is where I sign off for the night thanks for
for watching.